guys, this is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and today I'm talking a little bit about conchomancy. Conchomancy is reading with seashells. Um, as readers, we basically can read with anything. You know, there are people that, you know, read the clouds or um, read stones, read seashells, read uh, plants, flowers. Uh, basically, anything in nature or in your surrounding environment and which you can derive meaning is called reading. Um, so for myself, uh, one of my favorite things to do is to read with seashells because, well, I'm from San Diego. Um, I'm in San Diego <laughs> and uh, I grew up by, well, going to the ocean. Um, I love surfing. Uh, when I went away to school at Long Beach State, um, you know, I surfed every day after track practice and, you know, I, I just, I get along with the ocean and um, I've always loved reading the waves. Um, reading even the seaweed that used to come up on shore. I know that uh, Shuffle Tarot had done her witch's runes um, and I thought it was really fascinating. I don't actually own witch's runes. I do really want to make my own so she has inspired me since uh, she has made her own um, and I think they're absolutely fabulous. Um, you know so I'm thinking of maybe like making them with seashells since you know I am very like <laughs> an ocean person. Um, but I just want to show you guys um, the seashells that I have and um, what each one means to me and how I might read with them. So maybe you are a person that really connects with uh, ocean energy, water energy. Um, maybe you do live by the ocean or maybe you just happen to have a plethora of seashells that you've collected from your various trips to the ocean. Um, so uh, where I write down like all the meanings of my seashells is actually um, in my kind of diary here. This is one of my old diaries, but I decided to draw a picture of each of my shells um, and assign just kind of a meaning to them just so that I could really connect with each of the shells here. So I like to keep them in my two larger shells. Uh, it kind of keeps them all safe, I guess. Uh, so let me... Or actually, I'll just open it up. <laughs> I have quite a few shells here. Um, I'll go over the meanings, what the meanings that I've assigned them, and then uh, we'll go over how I would actually read with them. Okay, so we have this very first shell here. You can tell, you know, it's it's got <laughs> some sea hairs coming out of it. It's got a couple of barnacles on it. It's a little bit broken. Um, so the keywords that I have for this is um, abundance because there's it has all these growths. I just felt like there was abundance. Um, so this is like creative opportunities. It's like the t ten of pentacles. It's inheritance. It's growth. It could also be the nine of pentacles. Uh, it's the empress. It's money, support, networking, and communication. Um, it could also be uh, like a group because it's you know, has all this stuff on it. So it really all depends, you know, with all these different meanings, kind of how it falls in a reading. So yes, that's my first shell. My second shell that I have here, I consider it more of an air energy. I don't know, just kind of getting that feeling from it. Uh, so I consider this more of a swords suit, its ideas, its thought, its inspiration. And to me, it's also Gemini because, well, I'm an air sign. <laughs> so there's that one. Then we have this seashell with a hole in it, but it looks, these colors look like fire to me. So this is my, my fire energy um, seashell. It's action, it's the eight of wands, it's movement, it's passion, drive, um, moving forward, it's Aries, it's the magician, it's now, exclamation point. Um, any sort of wands energy, it's creation. So again, it just depends on how it falls in the spread, uh, is which, which of those keywords I might actually apply to it. Then we have this awesome green seashell. So right away I was like, oh yeah, luck. <laughs> so it's luck, it's new opportunities, a happy surprise, um, something that's unexpected, it's the sun, uh, money, um, a good change, and also in finding your path. This seashell, well actually it's not really a seashell, I guess it's more of um, 
um, coral, I guess, or maybe it was a seashell once, it's just full of stuff, but I consider this more of an earth. Um, it's groundedness, it's the pentacles, it's Virgo, it's nature, it's material items, it's finances, it's body, it's uh, something solid, it's foundation. This one having all the speckles on it, I consider this more of opportunity. Um, it's choices, it's the seven of cups, chance, career opportunities, decision, it's a new approach or a different point of view, a new path, and skills. This one is the water energy. I love that it has its deep blue. It's also very light. Um, so water, it's adapting, it's the moon, it's Pisces, it's life, it's cups, connection, emotions, salt water, empathy. Um, it's the body, it's fresh water, and it's cleansing. And this one's kind of spiky and it's got something lodged inside of it. So I consider this more of a crossroad. It's decision, the nine of swords, uh, having to make a choice, anxiety, blocks, confusion. Could also be the two of swords or being stuck. This little long one here, I consider uh, to symbolize man, no masculine, robust, um, being firm, uh, logic, emperor, strong, energetic, um, a take and give approach. Uh, this is the sun energy. And on the opposite side, we have woman. I like that it has the little um, kind of see-through in there. Um, this is the moon, the feminine. It's gentle, calm, knowing, relaxing, has secrets, high priestess, clairs, receiving and nurturing. This one, um, to me, this looks like a little eye. It looks like, like a white bird, almost like a parrot. So to me, this is spirit energy. It's our ancestors, it's spirituality, divine, guidance, synchronicities, guides, signs, and angels. This seashell is broken in half. So I see this as loss, death, leveling up, transformation, breaking away, broken, having to walk away or let go, defeat, it's an end. Could be the Five of Cups, the Eight of Cups, or the Ten of Swords. Uh, to awaken, also judgment. Again, just depends on where it lands in a reading. Last seashell here uh, means relationships to me because we have the two halves together. It's love and balance. It could be temperance, the star, yin and yang. Um, it could be um, relationship with yourself, or the world, with people, with nature, with animals. Um, also a coming together. Okay, so if I'm to do a reading with these shells, I put all of them in my hands. I kind of mix them around. Uh, I try not to let any fall out. Um, and then I just kind of spread it in whatever way I feel it needs to go. So if I had asked a question, I would kind of swirl it around just like this. Um, I would read the shells that are closest to me. I would also take into account the shells that are further away. Um, but I also like to look at the pattern in which it has laid. So here we have... Uh, Kind of an interesting pattern. Um, hmm. To me it's almost like um, a hook, <laughs> a fishing hook, uh, much like uh, the Samoan. Um, usually uh, the, the hook, it's usually made out of uh, whalebone. Well, I mean not anymore, but like traditionally. Um, and um, you know, I have some friends that I meet up with at the Pacific Islander festivals, and so I see a lot of that hook and so that's kind of what I'm seeing here so I would take that into account in a reading as well it's like okay what's the shape what are the shells that are closest to me and that's where I would get my answer for the reading um, while taking into account um, the shells out here so whatever the question you know we didn't ask a question um, but the most important uh, answer to that question or part of that question would have something to do with relationships um, or some sort of uh, two halves or balance, um, you know, depending on what the question was because this was closest to me. Uh, next we have earth, so some sort of like uh, relationship, uh, groundedness or, you know, again, coming together. We have the uh, thoughts over here, so uh, perhaps this um, 
grounded relationship, uh, you know, starts getting somebody thinking. Um, over here we have loss or walking away, and then we have abundance. So there's something that's let go possibly of this relationship, uh, which leads to some great opportunities um, for the a feminine in the relationship or the female in the relationship. Um, you know, and we would just kind of like read it uh, like that together. Um, you know, again, taking into account maybe some of the shells that are further away. Um, but that's basically how I read with seashells, uh, how I do conchomancy. Um, so I am interested to see or hear from you guys, you know, in the comment section down below, like, do you do conchomancy? Do you read with seashells? Maybe there's something that you read with other than runes or other than tarot cards or oracle cards. Maybe you do read flowers. Maybe you read nature. You read uh, the clouds, um, pebbles on the ground. Um, you know, I'm very curious to, to hear from you guys. Um, also, let me know if you end up like doing something like this, like maybe uh, getting some shells of your own and, you know, writing down what each of those shells means to you. There you go, uh, Shuffle Tarot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, I kind of made this as a response to her since she had showed us her awesome uh, witch's runes. Um, and that's it for me, spiritual homies. So if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading with me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. I actually have a conchomancy reading if you would like to grab one of those. <laughs> Although I have other readings as well. I have Lenormand and I have tarot and oracle and um, mediumship readings and all of that good stuff. And head over to that Patreon page over at patreon.com slash kittensweightsandtarot uh, where every week we have a card pull, every month we have crystal grids, uh, we have mediumship live streams, healing live streams, we have fun tarot live streams, we have lots of stuff over there so definitely go check that out and I'll catch you spiritual homies later, alright? Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out! <laughs>